Alright guys, hello! My name's Alexa, welcome back to my channel. So, you might be looking at the screen being like, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> so, today's look is inspired by the Mad Hatter. In the end, I kind of figured out that it was like Queen of Hearts meets Mad Matter. Mad... Jesus Christ. Queen of Hearts meets Mad Hatter. If they had a little crappy, annoying, bitchy teenage daughter, that's me. Hello, I'm here. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, it's the first time I did color brows. I'm like still a little like, who is she? But I think it's pretty cool. I don't know. I like it though. But yeah, if this is something that you guys would like to watch, it was all made with ColourPop's ColourPop shadows and I used NYX three of their liquid lipsticks to create this. So this is all an affordable little makeup look. Everything that has is on my face right now is actually drugstore. So yeah, keep on watching if you want to see how all this was made. Alright guys, so for today's makeup look, we are going to be doing a different sort of look. Kind of, not really. It's going to be more like a colorful, not so everyday look. It's actually going to be recreating one of the looks I've done for my Instagram and I'll try to put the photo here somewhere. And I called it the Mad Hatter look. It is not like 100% replicating the Mad Hatter, but it has a lot of the tones, at least on one of his eyes, where it's like very, that like pink, magenta, red, orange sort of thing. Don't know what this means. But yeah, so I just washed my hair. Obviously, it's in a bun. Um, I'm going to try to film the intro after, like when my makeup and everything is done, because I've noticed that I haven't been doing that, and that's really like, what I was supposed to be doing, but like... You know me. Anyway. So, yeah, in front of me I do have a lot of affordable shadows here. They're all ColourPop shadows. I'm going to try to stick with only these shadows. If I do stray from it, which I'm going to try not to, They, I have like the peach, I have the, I mean the sweet peach palette, I have the modern renaissance and the Kylie Burgundy palette. I don't remember exactly what shades I used last time, like I really have no idea. When I posted them on Instagram I didn't even like tag any of the companies, so I don't know. But in front of me, as of right now, I have the Yes Please palette from ColourPop, which looks like this. It's really messy. I said it in my video when I reviewed it. I don't like the cardboard material of this because the shadow sticks to it really easily. And as you can see, it's very messy. Okay. So then I have, I think this is the bell of the ball. No, this is just, these are just four shadows that I put together here. And I'll put their names on the screen here. I have the Belle of the Ball palette, which looks like this. All of these shades are also sold separately. And then I have the old packaging of the ColourPop. How I, I mentioned in the other video, I think it was a ColourPop video where I reviewed the Belle of the Ball. I said that I enjoy their new packaging versus their last one. Their last one was like well, white and then it had like silver stars on it and a see-through little window. I don't like it all that much because it gets very dirty. This one will probably get dirty too, but I don't know. I just think it looks a lot more sleek and mature. This one is a little bit childish with all the stars. I did like that it had the window, but I don't really mind it. Um, and as I mentioned in the other video where I reviewed ColourPop, this is what the palettes come in when they send them to you. Um, obviously, it has a little four slots, um, and you can just pop the shadows out because it has like a little thumb insert thing, whatever you call it, and then I mentioned in the last video, I don't remember where I learned this hack from, but you can take this foam insert out, like it'll be a little sticky so you have to wipe it down, but you take it out and you can actually put more shadows. So if you use it as it comes from ColourPop, it only holds four shades, and if you take it out, it can hold ten shades. It has like a little wiggle room here, but you can't really fit anything in there. I would rather just space the shadows out a little bit. But yeah, I plan on organizing all of mine, like I plan on taking these out and throwing this one away because it's really dirty. So I'll just be using these two. I'm going to organize it all like by colors because I do have more neutrals here and then like a random colorful shade. And then between these two I have colorfuls, colorful colors. So yeah. So, I'm out of breath now from talking so much. So, I will be sticking to mainly ColourPop. I also have the Gimme More um, highlight palette, but I also do have my trusty Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia palette because I do love this one, but like I mentioned in the other video, this one is very nice and they are dupes for each other. 
Oh no, this is a dupe for this. Yeah. So yeah, and then for brows, I do have, I don't know if I mentioned this in my video, but I like using the BH Cosmetics, the Studio Pro, and it's kind of like the Anastasia brow palette that they have, where it just has, uh, it doesn't have as many shades as the Anastasia, but they're very blendable and you can mix them together. It just has four gels on the bottom here, and then eight colors here on the top, and I like mixing and matching them. The only reason I'm using this is because I'm thinking of doing a color brow. Mind you, I have never done color brows ever in my life. But I kind of want to try doing a color brow since this is a very crazy look. It's not every day, obviously. So I might be using that clear wax. But yeah, so let's get into this. So, uh, I will be putting like the brush names on the screen or down in the description box below because I'm not, like I'm going to be talking through this so I don't really like have time to fully dive into each thing that I'm going to be using. I'm not using that. Okay, so I'm going to be setting my eyes. I do have my foundation done, as you guys can see. Uh, that's all I have. I just foundation and setting powder. Um, I'm breaking out for some reason, like really weirdly. Like I have one here. I have like a really weird like dry spot rash thing on the other side of my lip. My body's just like not liking me right now. But yeah, I'm setting my eye with uh, fulls. Nope, I said in the last video that it was different. This is note to sell, so it's reverse. So this is bling. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. I'm using this shade off of the Yes Please palette, which is just that matte shade because it matches my skin tone. If you are darker or... Well, this is pretty light. If you are anything darker than this shade, just use your setting powder if you want. I already did set it, but I like doing a second layer just to be sure. So, I don't know what I'm doing, because like I said, I don't remember exactly what I did in the last one, but, huh. Okay, so I think I'm going to be going into this color. I'm going to be going into Flower Boy by ColourPop, and it's just their single pressed color. Sorry, my dog's asleep, and like when he's asleep sometimes, like he makes like, um, kind of like barking, crying, like a oof, oof sound, and I think it's just him having a nightmare. Usually I wake him up, because I don't, I don't really like him. It sounds weird, but I don't like him having nightmares, I don't know. Because it is pretty loud, A and B, I don't know, my little baby suffering. But yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just using a little uh, slanted brush. And I'm just working that over my crease and not on it. But yeah, with this look, I'm not really too worried about making it all that clean. It is going to be more grunged out. So that's why I'm not really worried about the placement here. But yeah, you can use a fluffy brush for this. I don't really care. You can use your finger if you want to. Um, like I said in the last video, one of my last videos, I do want to do a sort of no tools uh everyday like school look for you guys and then with that I also want to do a um, like lazy girl hairstyle thing as you know I don't really do my hair when I had my hair longer and like when I was in school I would do my hair I would like do braids with it or I would curl it um, but yeah so I might do that one of my like go-to looks if I'm actually gonna do my hair is I do whoa I caught that brush pretty well I do uh, space buns and I really do like that so I might do it. My only he like hesitation to doing that sort of video is it is very, I wouldn't say age specific but like if you are a, okay that's going to sound, I'm not going to say like if you're a 40 year old mom don't do space buns. You can do space buns. If you do them, awesome. You're a cool ass mom. But not everyone likes that. So I think I'm going to like title it like for high school college kids I don't know but then again there are some like high school college kids that don't even do space buns but yeah now I'm going in with a wet and wild just a fluffy crease brush and I'm further blending this up and out up up and away so yeah um I don't know really what I want to talk about I think I'm just going to talk about shows I'm not doing a July favorites or I didn't do a July favorite so I think I might just like talk about that for a second um, I don't know, let me see, 
TV shows. I finished Bates Motel. Well, like season four is the latest one that's on Netflix, I think. And girl, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm not even saying what I'm doing right now. I'm taking um, Making Moves by ColourPop and just blending that over it. But yeah, back to Bates Motel. Holy shit. If you haven't watched that show, like, please, like, mute this and just watch me blend. But if you would like to listen, girl, continue. But holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. This season, I'm not gonna say, okay, hmm, I don't wanna say it's the best one, but I'm gonna say it's the best one. Uh, I really did like it. Like, holy shit. Like, the other seasons, you were like, okay, he kills people. He's psychotic. All right. And then the last season, season three, kind of like bored me a little bit. But this season grabbed you. It said, oh, you're trying to run away? Bitch, you thought. And damn, because this season was more like diving into his like brain, into his self, like he fully went psychotic. And then like this season was more like, I'm not going to say it was trying to make you feel bad and, um, for for Norman, I, but it, that's what it made me feel. So I'm going to go with another one. I have like five of these, so I'm just going to go in with another one and go back into Flower Boy and just blend that out. But yeah, like, I kind of did feel bad for Norman. Like, this season was more, like, psychological, if that makes sense. The other seasons were more just, like, action-based. Like, okay, he's killing people, this is what's happening, yada yada. This season is like, no, he's insane. He's crazy. And this is what happened to make him crazy. And you're like, okay. Like, all the scenes with Dr. Edwards and, like, how Norman would fully, like, black out and, like, transform into Norma, like, in front of the doctor. Like, I just thought that was crazy. But yeah, like, oh my god, and then the ending, like, oh, Jesus Christ, like, I've never been more frustrated and angry in my life, and like, in a good way. Not like in a, how Orange is the New Black left me frustrated and angry, like, in a bad way, like, I was like, what the fuck, another cliffhanger, really, bro? Really, bro? No. Bates, I'm getting angry, Jesus. Whew. Mm -hmm. Bates Motel ended as like a, holy shit, is this kid gonna get away with it? Romero, do something. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm sorry if I'm like spoiling anything for anyone, but like yearly catch up. Thank y'all. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> sorry if I like anger people with the fact that I do my foundation before I do my eyeshadow, but it's just what works for me. Um, I do makeup on other people and it just depends. Like, for me, personally, I like doing foundation first because I know that, I know how to, like, work around shadows well enough, like, the ones that I'm comfortable with, like, ColourPop is really pigmented, and if you dip in, as long as you tap off, there's not a lot of flaking and, like, fallout, so I'm comfortable with it. If you are, like, starting out in makeup or if you're not comfortable using, a like, a palette, like, if you're using, let's say, like, the Modern Renaissance for the first time. I would go in and do your eyeshadow first and then do foundation around that unless you are baking your face and you leave a lot of translucent powder underneath that you can just wipe off. But like I said, I'm pretty comfortable doing my makeup. I'm comfortable with the shadows that I'm using today, so I'm not going to be doing it. If that bothers you, go to another channel. I don't know. Sorry, my camera just shut off. Um, but what I was saying is I'm taking a... I don't know brush. I'm just taking a dense like crease brush and I'm going into Fair Play with ColourPop and I'm going to be putting that in my actual lid. But yeah, what other shows have I been watching? Hmm. I don't know. I started watching the OJ, uh, People vs. OJ or whatever and uh, I'm not really like feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's just, it's interesting. Like, I like the OJ case and everything but I just can't into the show like I don't know it just I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know but yeah like ah I don't <laughs> I, can't, I hate saying I don't know so much but I really don't know like I'm just I can't get into it like the first like couple of minutes I'll be like into it, like oh, okay, okay I'm actually gonna watch this and then like 20 minutes in I'm on my phone like deep into Twitter I'm like wait what was I doing again oh shit the show and it's like two episodes have already passed and I totally missed them because I've been on my phone. So, I don't know. It's just a very 
I don't know, thing for me. My boyfriend loves it. He's finished it. He's, like, obsessed with the whole OJ case. Like, not in that way, but, like, he really likes it. So he's, like, watched every documentary, everything on him. Um, and he loves the show, but I just... I can't get into it, man. I can't get into it. But, yeah. So... I'm gonna go in with another Wet n Wild. It's, like, the small concealer... Um, brush. I just have like a little towel here and I'm cleaning it off and I have my little color switch thing too. So yeah, I'm going in just with a concealer brush and I'm going in with that same shade just to pack it in uh, more heavily. Oh, another show that I've like been really into, all of my friends that have me like on Snapchat and stuff know that I've been like deep into my cat from hell. Um, I am a self-proclaimed and friend-proclaimed uh, crazy cat lady. But I just, I don't know, I love that show. I love learning about animals. Like, when I was younger, I really wanted to be a vet. And I still kind of, like, regret not becoming one, but, like, <laughs> all that school, no thank you. Um, but I really like learning about the behavioral aspects of animals. I don't know, I think it's cool. But yeah, I'm going back in with the Wet n Wild brush, and let me dip into... I think we're going to go back into Flower Boy. And just blend all that out. Yeah, like I said, this is a very grungy look. It's not meant to, like, be dainty or anything like that. But yeah, I like learning, like, because I do have three cats, so I like learning about why they do certain things and just learning about them in general, I think, is pretty cool. Taking the other one that I used for, I don't remember the name, Making Moves. And we'll blend that out again, just because I think it was fair play is a little bit darker. Yeah, that looks better. Um, but yeah, so I am, I don't know if I'm going to film like a DIY sort of thing. My shadow is like going a little crepe, whatever, I'm going to blend it. So yeah, don't worry too much about it going down here because like I said, it's going to be grungy and I'm going to smoke the bottom lash fully out so that it's kind of like dripping in a way. Like, you know how the Mad Hatter has it like all the way down here and he has a white mascara. I don't have white mascara when he was regular one because it is more like honed in Mad Hatter. It's not like full on like cosplay. I'm not doing that. So I'm going back in, or not back in, I'm going to go in with, I don't know if I want to use this one. Why are my shadows like stuck to this? Like it's not coming out. Oh god, Jesus. I'm gonna use Crisscross from Colourpop. Then I'm gonna go in with the same little dense my nose is itchy. The dense uh, crease brush. I'm just gonna float that around since it is more of an orange hue and I got a lot of purple and pink, I gotta like hone it back in to that orange sort of look. I'm just going to take the Wet n Wild and do that again, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing, yeah, if you're watching this and you're like, what the hell are you doing to your face, I don't know, I wish I knew, I think I'm going to go in to Spoiled, or no, yeah, Spoiled, which is this like reddish color, from the Yes Please palette. I'm going to use that same dense crease brush and I'm like further smoke this out. I kind of want to like contour my nose with this a little bit. Like, I don't know, I've seen um, that Jeffree Star does it sometimes. Like, because he has very like, um, I don't know, like deep set eyes where he can do this. But I kind of want to do it just because Mad Hatter's so crazy. So I'm going to go in with that angle brush I was using. It's the Royal Lang, 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 Lang Nickel Precision Angled. And I'm just going to go in with whatever's left on this. Do I still have some shadow? I do. So I'm just going to contour the very beginning of my nose and blend that out here. Ooh, yes. It looks funky. And I don't know what shadow I'm going to use for my brows, but... Okay, so now for the under eye. I'm going to use 
This, it's the BH Cosmetics, the rose gold, copper, whatever you want to call it, and it's number seven. Oh, ugh, number seven. And it came in that uh, little kit. I think I'll link it down below if it's still available. But it was like a little pack of all of the rose gold collection. So I'm going to go in with... I'm going to go in with Make and Moves. I keep saying from ColourPop. This whole thing is ColourPop. So. <laughs> Jesus. And I'm going to run that down the lower lash line in a whimsical sort of way. I'm going to try not to do crazy eyes. Uh, uh -huh. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild and like really like flush that out because I'm just going crazy with it. Oh, another thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, I'm so excited, <laughs> me and my best friend are going to see Post Malone in Orlando in October. I could not be more excited, truly, honestly, literally. Like, I'm shook. So I'm taking the Wet n Wild, and I'm just going to blend that out with Reckless Abandon. Okay, now that we look like we got punched in the face. Ooh, I look like I have some sort of like sickness. Like I like it. Hmm. And now I'm going to go in with a little smaller brush. I don't know what to use. My it's too big. Whatever, I'll just use that same little one that we used from BH, and I'm going to dip into Stay Golden from ColourPop, and it's like a purpley sort of shade, and I'm going to go in with that in the outer corners. Okay, I think I'm going to use that one for the brows, actually. So let me clean out my little brow brush. I'm using the Essence Eyeliner Brush. It's the green one. I like it. I talked about it in one of my last videos. I like it because it is very thin and slanted and it's just like the perfect thickness for brows even though it says, I mean it's perfect for eyeliner obviously because it's really thin, but I like it for my brows. So I'm going to go in with the uh, clear wax and just coat my brows with that so that the shadow has something to stick to. And I did just like kind of do my eyebrows today, so shout out to them actually looking somewhat normal. <laughs> what I use is I just use tweezers and that little like razor thing that like shaves your brows. I do that around the edge. I used to get my eyebrows threaded, but like I have to go all the way to the mall to do that because I haven't found like a salon here that does it. And like, I don't know, it's just annoying because then you have to like wait in line and like having to like, it's like $15 and I'm not trying to live that life. Mm -hmm. Like I could get the Yes Please palette for that price. So I'm going to go in with Stay Golden, like I said, and I'm kind of nervous to do this because I've never done it, but like, ooh, eh, whatever, here goes nothing. Oh my gooch. Oh my gooch. I'm like hoping that this, can you, I hope this like pulls up on camera because I do have like brown black brows as is, as like a person. Okay, I'm gonna need to get closer to my mirror, but. Ah, I went too high, I went too high. Okay, they're gonna look a little thick in this video because, oh my god. Oh my god. Oof. I'm like throwing everything. Oh, okay. Not that bad. When I brush it through, it's not that bad. It's still pretty thick, but hopefully I can just clean that up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let me dip back into it. And let's continue. Ooh, that's weird. Weird. And I'm going to go in with Making Moves, I think it is, for the inter, inter portion. So that it's like fading into a lighter color. Ooh, that's weird. Hmm. Hmm. I'm 
like probably gonna regret this when I'm gonna be editing, but <laughs> whatever. They're on. So yeah, that's what they look like. I don't I mean like from I'm looking at the mirror behind the camera, like from far away it doesn't look like it's colored because it is like a dark purple and like my actual color is showing through. But whatever. So I'm going with the other one. It's weird because my brows are really waxy right now. Because I gooped on that wax. So I feel like the brush is like sliding around. And it, with the powder, I'm not like rubbing it in, I'm just like tapping it on either side. So the brush is like nicely coated, but not like flaking with powder. Because then it, you'll get more fallout if you like dig your brush in. Okay. One last little merry-go-round with this one. And then we're going to go in with making moves on the interval camera shut off again. What I was saying is that I was at JCPenney and I do not like having to wait in line for 50 years because of this whole back to school thing. Like it's stupid and annoying. Ugh, I hate it. So I'm gonna have to camp out in my house and I won't be able to go shopping until this whole tax free thing is over and done. But yeah, so now for, let's do some highlight. I think I'm gonna stick with a pink theme. And let me go in first with the ColourPop, and if it's not good enough, I'm going to go in with the other one. But I'm going to use my Morphe M532. And I'm going to be mixing Upgrade and... Was it... This is extra. So this is Full Service and Upgrade, which are these two. I'm going to be mixing them. I'm just going to swirl them to both. So we keep the little pinky theme going. But yeah, I don't know. I just don't like the whole shopping shenanigans. And as for more videos, um, like I said, I'm planning on doing like a little room tour of the studio, filming room, whatever, office. Um, but it's still a bit of a mess because I don't got time and when I do got time I just want to chill and watch TV yeah I'm gonna highlight that pimple bitch oh she hungry she wants some highlight mmm ugh I hate freaking out anyway so I'm gonna go in with I don't know all of these are like dirty I'm gonna go in with a wet n wild it's like a large eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna dip into what the hell is this upgrade? I keep forgetting these names. And I'm gonna do my eyebrow highlight. Okay. I need more highlight. This is ridiculous. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Much better. So yeah, now I'm just going to contour with my butter bronzer and my crown brushes brush okay oh my god so another thing I totally forgot I just remembered now with the smell of this another thing that I was going to mention is a, like a perfume favorite sort of like I said I wasn't I didn't film a July favorites because I don't really like I haven't bought a lot of makeup or haven't been trying out I've just been using the same little uh, everyday products for like work but I do have a new fragrance and it is from Bath and Body Works and it is called At the Beach this is I think my best friend gave this to me because she already had another one I think um, we went into the store and I fell in love with the beach smell because I love the smell of coconuts. I love the beach. So anything that smells like sun, sand, and... I don't know. Hammocks. What else has the beach? Um, water, waves, birds. 
Um, but yeah, anything that smells like the beach, I'm down for. So this fragrance, mwah, amazing. So shout out for giving me that because it's a mean thing. I wear it every day. I love smelling like the beach. I'm trying to think of like another thing that I was going to mention. My hair is a hot mess. I'm going to do it afterwards and then I'll film the intro obviously. But Oh, we're going to do lips now. So I have three lippies here. Don't know which one I'm going to use. I have, They're all from NYX. I have the soft matte lip cream. They're all soft matte lip cream. We need to get it together. I have Milan. I have Sao Paulo. And I have Copenhagen, which is a darker color. I'm going to use this um, to make my lips look fuller. So I think I'm going to use all three. Yeah. Let me start out with San Paolo. And I'm going to do that around the whole lip. I'm probably like the worst person at applying lipstick, honestly. Like, all, eyeshadow all day, every day, steady hand. Eyeliner, eyebrows, steady hand. As soon as it goes in for the lipstick, I'm like... Like, I don't know what goes on with my brain. And like, not applying it properly. But I'm gonna give myself some credit. I do have like weirdly shaped lips. I don't know which side because obviously in the mirror, like I look flawless. I look perfect in my mind. But when I like see pictures of myself, one side like is more fuller than the other. It's really weird. I don't. You guys can probably see it. Like I can see it when I'm editing, but like in the mirror, I don't see it. Cause I just see my best self. But yeah. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna commend myself. That was the first time I've done my lipstick and not gone outside the lines. I am 20 years old, and that is the truth. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Milan, which is lighter, in the very center. And it's not that much lighter, it's just a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with Copenhagen on the very outer corners, just like a little dollop, a little dollop of daisy. Oops, there you go. I told y'all I'd mess up. Okay, I fixed it. Huh? My hand's twitching again, see? I spoke too soon. I was giving myself a pat on the back before I even finished. Tragic. Okay, I think that's contoured enough. I don't know, I like it. So yeah, that's my look. I probably look insane. I mean, I, I know I do. This kind of reminds me of the Queen of Hearts. This is like if the Queen and Hearts, the Queen and Hearts, the Queen of Hearts and Mad Hatter had like a, like a broody teenage daughter. That'd be me. I'm bitchy and psychotic. Oh my god, I am the daughter of the Queen of Hearts and the Mad Hatter. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, these jewelry pieces are from Roxbox. Um, I will link the video where I spoke about them down below, the coupon code that I still have for the... Okay, no, little lipstick on my teeth. I do have a free month uh, coupon code uh, with them, and I will put that down in the description box if you guys want to try it out. But I'm liking this with the shirt and everything, like, yeah. So I'm going to go... <laughs> I'm going to go do my hair, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back. All I really did was just, my lipstick is being really weird, so I'm dry it. But yeah, basically all I did was just put my hair down, I put a little bit of my conditioning little all-in-one leave-in conditioner, whatever the hell it is, and I put a little bit of my Redken uh, sea salt spray, so 
This is like how my hair naturally forms. It's like wavy, but then it just gets really poofy. So I like my hair when it's like semi-dry, semi-wet still, because it has like a, it has like body still, but it's not like, hello, I am Mufasa, this is Lion King, welcome to my palace, you know what I'm thinking? So, because that's my hair on the regular. That's why it's always up in a bun and I don't know what to do with it. But I'm rambling. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that maybe one day you will recreate it. Maybe, like, make it look a little bit more normal than I did. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll be posting a video on Wednesday. I do get my kale polish on Monday, so I'll probably be filming my little nail polish haul sort of kale polish try-on on that'll be up on Wednesday and then for Sunday I don't know I kind of want to do more of these like little get ready with me sort of crazy looks I don't know I might be doing one of those like once a month like just pick a like a color theme and kind of do a monochromatic like stick to that look but yeah I don't know so if you guys have any suggestions leave them in the comments below so yeah thank you guys so much I'll see you on Wednesday and have a wonderful day all right guys so I actually finished filming everything and then I realized I looked in the mirror I said where your eyelashes at, girl. I totally forgot to put mascara on, so here's my mascara. It's still drying right now, so it's a little wet. I actually didn't get it on my eyeshadow today, so. Yeah. Yay! I'm like so adult.